So, you're probably wondering, why am I actually showing off the Pokémon before the battle? Well, I need to explain something, and I really don't want to show any more pictures of stuff that I've drawn and or have made. So, yeah. Basically, I wanted to do a new type of battle that I thought up. Probably not a new type of battle, but a type of battle anyway. You use the same team, but you want to try and counter that team with the same team. And I know it sounds a little complicated, it's called Move Pull Polo, and I picked three Pokemon, and AMN picked three Pokemon. Originally, I was going to do this battle with Ferris Wheel 32, but he got sick, and he wasn't able to do this, so I basically just asked AMN to do it, since he wanted to battle me anyway. And I know for a 1,000 subscriber special, you're supposed to battle somebody with tons of subscribers or something like that, but eh, who really cares? I wanted to battle somebody, and I did, so yeah. I picked the last three Pokemon on my side, which is the top row, and he picked the first three. The way that I did this is Ferris Wheel 32 came up with an idea, pick three Pokemon each, and we decided to pick one OU, two UU slash NUs. So I picked, yeah, I think you can figure it out yourself. On to the battle. As I previously stated, this matches with AMN. So he leads a Dust Buster, and I leave with cheese blocks because Nacho likes ferrets, so his ferret should have Nacho cheese. So he goes for the U-turn, predicting an obvious move like a stab move or something, and I go for the double edge because I figured he might stay in, and last time we did this battle I did a focus punch and it failed. So um, he goes to his Frostlass, and I go to Raichu because I wanted Reese Binlier's older self to take the, right, the Shadow Ball because I figured nothing else on this team really wants to take it. And I didn't think he'd actually go for it again, so I tried to do something, I don't know. So I go into Hit My Knee, which is my awesome Hit Monthly, and I go for the Stone Edge and kill off the Frostlass, because Frostlass just doesn't like having stone thrown at it, especially since it's a girl. I mean, what, what, actually, what kind of person likes having rocks thrown at them? So he brings out the Flying Man, and I bring back out my Cheese Plocks, because I need to have my cheese melted for myself, because, you know, nachos need cheese. And I Sucker Punch now, because CV Sucker Punch surprisingly does a lot, and, well, I had to get some damage on this thing before I died. And I doubt that Furt is faster. Especially since it's plus adamant, or whatever, you know. So I bring out Gay Weevil! And I just Ice Beam because, you know, I don't really want a nasty plot since this thing can actually kill me. I'm actually Life Orb. And Gay Weevil decides to actually be gay and get a crit. So now he brings out Kung Fu, and everybody was Kung Fu fighting, so Gay Weevil had to get out of there. And now I had to bring out No Time to Roost, as he goes for close combat and does virtually nothing because Gliscor's just awesome. I love Gliscor, seriously. So, he destroys himself with the life orb, and then he switches out because he's like, Oh my god, I better send in the guy who was sitting. So the guy who was sitting comes out, and I'm like, uh, paradox here. So I earthquake, and now the guy who was sitting is no longer sitting, he has fallen, and I killed myself. And I critically hit myself too, so I better go call the police and purport myself. Because Annie said to. So now he brings back out the Dust Buster, and he's like, Hey, I can do a magic trick, wanna see it? So I'm like, Oh my god, that is awesome! I got a scarf! Thanks for the scarf, man! So I go for the Stone Edge, and it does like nothing to this Dust Buster, because apparently vacuum cleaners can survive having rocks thrown into them. So he body slams, and he gets the paralysis, which, eh, doesn't really matter that much. Even though Gliscor is pretty much useless now, so no time to research to come back, and I go out to Copo de Nieve! Caete su grande boca, Copo de Nieve! <laughs> Yeah, it's Spanish for Snowflake. So Snowflake comes out, and Kung Fu comes out, and I'm like, Destiny Bond! And I was thinking he actually wouldn't attack since I used Destiny Bond, but apparently he doesn't care. So he goes for the Earthquake, and I'm like, please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill. And it kills, so yay! My Copa de Nieve grabs onto Kung Fu and cuts into it, and it dies. So yeah, so you thought Snowflake was a cat. So now out comes Hit My Knee, because it has to. And he brings out Raichu, and I'm just going to Earthquake Raichu, because, yeah. Originally, I had picked Rotom Appliance, but uh, his code wouldn't work, so he couldn't use it. And I killed the Raichu, and I surprisingly don't get static axed. So now he brings out Dust Buster, and I figure Earthquake should do a lot to it, if not kill it. We had done this battle before, but my save decided to corrupt, for some stupid reason, so we had to do it again. And he body slams, and doesn't get the paralysis, so... The game, again, goes in my favor. I won the first one by just pretty much owning him with Weavile, so yeah. Good game, AMN.
You should check him out. He's going to start uploading videos. I was supposed to be his first recorded match. So, yeah. Thanks for 1,000 subscribers, guys. And uh, part 3 should be up sometime later today. I've been getting kind of slack about recording and narrating and whatnot.